Hi everyone, welcome to Vanessa Collins channel. To those who have just watched my vlog for the first time, I welcome you to my channel and hope that you would continue watching my vlogs. To those who have been following me on my journey, I would like to welcome you guys back here. As usual, I will be presenting my vlog in mixed languages and dialects. So, apa kabar semuanya? Teman-teman pasti sudah mulai rutin baru kan? Ya, iya. Pasti. Sure? So, today, I will mentally take you guys to a place which is a little outskirt from Slango City. This place is approximately around 50 kilometers from Kuala Lumpur city center. A small town to the northwest of Kuala Lumpur. If it is of norm traffic, it'll be around 1 hour and 20 minutes journey. Let's have a mini tour to this seafood market called Pasar Penambang Kuala Selangor. It is close to the border of Selangor and Perak. So this is in fact the route that we took from Kuala Lumpur to Pasar Penambang Kuala Selangor. The place is known fact for large saltwater fishes and seafood from Kuala Selangor itself or from the area of Lumut. This would be the front view of the market. For your information, known to be as a market here, its floor is always wet. So I would suggest that you wear beach slippers, flip flops, or a pair of Wellington boots. <laughs> Instead of uh, shoes or sneakers to this wet market. So here are some pictures. Those fishes um, are those that I purchased from that market. We bought some fishes and vegetables from this market. All along in my mind, I have this idea where seafood sold in this remote village will be cheap and fresh. I was indeed wrong <laughs> driving 50 kilometers from KL city center to a place for its known products should work the trip this time it failed I expected it to be all cheap and fresh fresh it's okay no! but cheap mm. seafood sole was exorbitantly expensive Hey, mahal sangat lah. You know what? The price of the seafood being sold there is in fact more expensive than those sold in the supermarket here in KL. Oh, no. While I was there, I saw harga ketam, 35 ringgit sekilo, and udang sederhana besar was between 50 to 55 ringgit a kilo. Not much of a difference if I were to compare the price to the one sold in KL. So, no point of buying those there. So, kita beli tiga ekor ikan size pelatahan besar. Alright, so that was basically my brief journey. Next, the durian. On the journey home, on the way home, we bought durians at a reasonable price. It's, um, it's a 101 uh, kind of texture, D101 kind of texture here. Uh, remember in my previous vlog how I really enjoy eating my durian raw? Today, I'm going to share with you guys a durian dessert that I grew up eating. It is the durian with coconut milk or I grew up calling it bubur durian. The ingredients for this recipe would include durian itself, coconut milk, pandan leaves, sugar and water this is a really easy dessert to make in a pot add durian pandan leaves coconut milk sugar and water make sure to cover the durian using coconut milk and water i prefer to have creamy durian dessert so for creamier gravy 
add more coconut milk but not too much and depends on your durian servings uh, same goes to the sugar it depends on how sweet you want or you want it to be less sweet heat up the pot and boil all the ingredients until simmer mix the ingredients gently we don't want the flesh of the durian to be separated from its seeds there you go i know some love having this dessert while it is hot just like me i also know people who loves eating it chilled they say it is more of durian ice cream texture it actually depends on what you like really ah so i have received positive feedbacks from my subscribers viewers and supporters on a number of great ideas from my followers on Facebook and Insta, keep the ball rolling and message going on. Oh, and I might also share with you a couple of other recipes from my Kuala Selangor visits trip. Stay tuned and look out for my next vlog. No boundaries, cook and eat, be inspired, don't be afraid to cook. Last but not least, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Subscribe is free anyway. Tak perlu bayar untuk subscribe. Subscribe adalah gratis. Thank you for watching. Bye!